Hi, brothers and sisters in Christ. Um, I am back in my prayer closet, and I wanted to share a dream with you and also um, a, an instruction from the Lord. And I right now have to repent to God because I should have done this yesterday, Monday, um, September the 18th, and it is Tuesday. So I am late, and I'm repenting now before the Lord because um, I think this is important, and I'm going to share it with you. And just let the chips fall where they may. I don't consider myself to be a prophet or anything like that, but I did receive a dream from the Lord and instruction. So I'm just going to put it out there. And um, if you're, if it's a confirmation in your spirit, then uh, so be it. So here goes the dream. I had a dream where there was a strong winds blowing, very, very strong winds uh, and, and cold. And I was outside and there was a lot of people outside and I saw people just blowing away in the wind like like leaves they were just blowing away in the wind like leaves and so but it wasn't blowing me away and I looked around and I so I thought to myself I said let me see where all of these people are going they're just blowing away like leaves and I I followed the trail you know where the people were going and I um got to a point where I just saw a big uh lake of fire and um I knew if I looked at that lake very clearly I would be able to start making out people's faces and I didn't want to see you know, that maybe there's some people I know that's in that lake of fire. So I turned around and I walked against the uh, resistance of the wind. And then when I walk, uh, kind of like walked back up a hill to see, you know, what was going on. And outside there was lots of people just standing around looking bewildered. Not a crowd of people, just, you know, stragglers, people here and there just standing around looking very um, confused, bewildered. And um, a lot of them were children. Some of them were, you know, children. And then I was in another place where there was also a group of children, but they were in an enclosed building that was high up. And it, it kind of reminded you like maybe they were there from all different backgrounds and, and races and places, and they were taken care of. They had food and they had something to do, and they were seemed, you know, safe. They were okay. But you could tell none of them knew each other. Like they were all from just different places, different backgrounds, and but they were safe and they were taken care of. And... Um, each child was given a puzzle of the United States to solve. And it's like each child took the uh, puzzle of the United States and they flipped it up down, you know, flipped it upside down and scattered all the pieces. And each child was there trying to put the pieces back to, to, together. And each child had a puzzle of the United States. And after that, um, I woke up. And then when I woke up, the Lord gave me the interpretation of the dream. He said, um, the people that are being blown away, those are people who don't know me. And they're also um, Christians who are in a state of, they're not in a, not in a repentant state. So they're backslidden. The people that were left um, outside, but they were dazed and confused. A lot of them were children. He said they weren't like in the natural children, but in the spirit, they were children like babes in Christ, very new in Christ. Um, but they were dazed and confused. They didn't know what to do because they really didn't know very much about the Lord or the word. The group of children, but they were saved. And so they were God's children. The other group of children that were in the enclosed place that was high up, that were taken care of. Those were the people in Christ who know the Lord and they were under his protection on his shelter. And the uh, jigsaw puzzle of the United States with them, each child being given a puzzle of it and they had flipped it upside down and scrambled it was basically uh, symbolizing what was about to happen in the United States that there was going to be um, just judgments going across the United States like it, it basically touching every state because the whole everything was just scrambled and those um, kids were trying to put that back together so that was the dream and then a few days later and this is the part where I delayed and I, sh I should not have. Um, the Lord said he was, you know, very angry with the United States because the United States had not repented. And he said in particular to pray for New York. Um, he said, pray for New York. And that's all he said. And then I just um, was led to the following scriptures, which is Esther 4, 13 through 17. And I will not read it all, but I'll sum it up for you. You can go read it on your own. But it's the part where Mordecai comes to Esther and tells her what's going on, um, how the Jews are about to be destroyed, and for her to intercede to the king. So what I, and then also she says, well, listen, I will go on a three-day fast, me and my maids, and also you tell all the people to go on a three-day fast. 
And then she said, I'll approach the king. And the instruction I was given for the Lord is to go on a three day fast. And this is the part I didn't do. I've been fasting, you know, since he told me, but I didn't share it because I was like, well, who am I to share this? You know, I'm not a prophet, but I'm just going to put it out there because another YouTuber actually, I uh, think her, it's a uh, first John 14 on YouTube. Thank you. She gave a message about Esther and saying, do what the Lord tells you to do. So here I am now just putting it out there. If anyone else would like to join me on a three day fast for New York, who knows, maybe our prayers will spare many of God's children in this city. Okay, so if we don't fast, we never know if we could have made a difference, but we know there's some hurricanes in the Atlantic right now, and Jose and Maria, and they're just kind of building up force in the Atlantic, and they're scheduled to hit somewhere on the East Coast. And, and then the Lord said, pray for New York. So if anyone would join and do a three-day fast, I believe that God would hear our prayers and, and spare many people alive. And other thing that we can believe for is uncommon salvation. Pray for everyone. Pray for New York that God can do an amazing, miraculous salvation. And uncommon salvation, he spoke that a while back, just means that he can save people we never thought he could save. People who haven't been repenting, he can do it if we pray. So three-day um, fast starting today, uh, which is Tuesday 19th, Wednesday September 20th and Thursday, September 21st, um, ending at sunset. So if we would fast those three days. I'm going to do that. Adding to my other time since I was disobedient one day, I'm adding a day to it. And um, that is the dream. And the scriptures that this is based on is Nehemiah 10, because the United States, made, basically our founders made a covenant with God. And this was founded to be a Christian nation because we broke in the covenant. We brought judgment on ourselves. And the judgments that will come are judgments that are outlined in Leviticus chapter 26, uh, verse 14 through uh, verse six, 16. Um, actually, the whole going from Leviticus chapter 26, 14, oh, probably to um, 44, it just lists judgment after judgment after judgment. And let's believe God that we can pray and judgment will be alleviated and souls will be saved and um, that he'll hear our prayers and we'll experience uncommon salvation in this nation and uh, a spirit of repentance in this nation. Okay, so that is the word and um, keep praying for me. Thank you to everyone that's made comments. Um, I am going to go through them and, and respond, but thank you for your comments and your support. I love you all, and um, we are in the home stretch, the home stretch here, and so let's just go out there and share Jesus like never before to everyone. Love you guys.